A survey suggests that 50% of the general public play video games and 10% consider themselves as serious gamers. The main motivation that drives these people is to make a high score. But what if we can apply the concepts that we as engineers know to build robots and automated algorithms to solve these games? It will motivate more students to work on innovative ways to solve the games rather than spending hours trying to make high scores. I am Surya, an alumni of NIT Varangal. I started working on such robots and algorithms during my final year at college. They could solve mobile games using concepts of electronics, image processing and machine learning. I decided it was time for me to take the work to the next level. With the help of the Lakshya Foundation and Innovation Garage, I teamed up with 15 different students from NIT Warangal during the winter vacation in December 2015. Most students had prior experience with electronic circuits, but very few knew image processing. I guided them through short lectures and provided them with specific online resources where they could learn further. They worked very hard and grasped all the required concepts very quickly. Together, we wrote algorithms for five different games which beat human level performance. Game 1 Ready Steady Bang In this game, we have to tap the screen as soon as the word bang pops up. We use a light sensor to detect this word and then we simulate the touch. This way, we always win the game. Game 2 3D Bowling Here, we have to swipe across the screen so that the maximum number of bowling pins fall. We used image processing to detect the center of the pins and then performed a corresponding swipe. Game 3 Find the Differences In this game, we have to spot the differences between two images. We use image processing to extract and subtract both the images. Wherever we find a significant difference, we simulate a touch. Game 4 Tic-Tac-Toe we use image processing to detect the move played by the computer and play the best possible counter move. This way, we win most of the times and in the worst case, it's a draw. Game 5 Playing a song We give the notes to the algorithm for a specific song so that the song tune is automatically played. We open source to all of the projects so that people around the world can replicate and build upon it. We also made video demonstrations for all projects and uploaded them on YouTube. Apart from giving students and enthusiasts a new dimension to learn, this also contributes in building the brand of NIT Warangal. We are presently writing a publication quality book on building mobile game solvers. This book would be the first of its kind. I hope you like the work that we are doing. Feel free to leave a comment below about what you think or how we can improve or extend this work.